This is an old question. It's from the SAT question bank now, but it used to be from one of the practice tests, I believe, for the last version of the SAT. So they're kind of reusing a question, but that, that means I've taught it a lot. I know this question well, and uh, everyone hates this question. They have no idea what to do. I think a big mistake people make is they read the story and they try to understand the story to build an equation. That's very difficult. What I do is I go backwards. I look at these equations and I think, well, what's different? Let me let me break this down into certain choices that I might need to make or think about. And then hopefully one of these uh, choices will kind of have an answer somewhere in the passage. So the first thing I notice is actually that this where P is less than 150 doesn't matter, right? Because it's in all the choices. So who cares? It's just there for distraction purposes. The other thing I notice is um, it's kind of about the 20%. Right. Or I guess I can see that it's 20% because I can kind of skim. But it, there's 0.2, which represents 20%, being multiplied either by some kind of complicated thing, 300 plus or minus 36, or 300 by itself. So that to me feels like a choice, right? We're taking 20% of something. What is the something, right? So when I go to the story, I'm kind of looking for that now. So if, no, if more than 20% of all participants chose the first picture in the set, so how many participants are there? A psychologist set up an experiment to study the tendency of a person to select the first item when presented with a series of items in the experiment. 300 people were presented with a set of five pictures, right? So there are 300 people total. So just like that, I'm pretty sure it's not A or B. It feels like I need to do 20% of everyone, of 300. Why would I add another 36 to 300? Why would I subtract 36 from 300, right? If everyone in the experiment is 300, let's stick to that. Now I have a different choice, right? Um, I have the choice of do I subtract 36 or add 36 to P? So I need to know what is P, what is the 36? Let's see what's going on. Uh, each person was asked to choose the ap most appealing picture. Of the first 150 participants, 36 chose the first picture in the set. So there's 150, so half the people are choosing, or half the people go first, I guess. And then um, 36 of them are choosing the first picture. Among the remaining 150 participants, P people chose the first picture in the set. Okay, so the 36 and the P are kind of like, almost like the same thing, right? Um, if more than 20% of all participants chose the first picture in the set, which of the following inequalities best describes the possible values of P? So I'm not solving for P, I don't care. Um, so they're saying we're, we're comparing 20% of everyone, so the 20% of 300, to the people who chose the first picture. So how many people chose the first picture? Well. In each group, we have a different amount, 36 in one group, P in another. So together, 36 plus P is the total number of people who chose the first picture. So they want a total. So choice D, we're going to add them. Again, I'm not reading this story kind of like knowing that obviously. I'm looking at the choices and the choices are telling me what to care about. I'm, I'm treating this question, which is a math question, a lot like I would a passage reading question where I don't understand the passage. But I understand the choice is much better, right? The choices are smaller, they're easier to understand. Certain words, or in this case, uh, like certain operations, kind of stand out as being important, strong words. And so I'm going to the passage and looking for those things. That's a much better way to do it. Because I just, I think for most of us, when we read these lines, it's just a jumble. Like, I, I don't know what this means. I, I bet there's like a dozen ways to even make an inequality that, that follows the rules in the question. But of course, we only care about the ways that they gave us. So don't get distracted by the story. Let the choices tell you what to care about in the story. It's usually much easier.